Hello everyone, this is uh, Buddy from the forums. This is a demonstration of the NES PC. This is the PC part of it, obviously. Uh, I didn't have any very portable games. I didn't want to install a bunch of stuff on the NES PC. Um, so World of Warcraft is easy to drag and drop. Um, right now, uh, at the title screen here, it's running about 90 frames a second. This is the second video I've actually made. I'm hoping this one comes out well. But anyway, the NES PC does not have a discrete graphics card. Uh, there's nothing in the PCI Express slot or HP slot. Uh, this was for power reduction and for dramatic heat savings. Uh, what it does have is an AMD A10 processor. It's the APU, which has graphics built into it. That is not the same thing as an onboard graphics processor on the motherboard. This is a discrete set of uh, hardware in the chip of the CPU itself which gives the ability to make uh, games like this play at any sort of quality. So what I'm going to do is just log in and run around and give you sort of a comparison to what my normal desktop computer can do. My normal desktop will run this same monitor at these same settings at around 30 to 60 frames a second. And what I'll demonstrate in here is that this thing is doing it at between 20 and 35 frames a second, which for not having a dedicated graphics card is pretty impressive. Alright, so here's the game. Um, I have just the stock UI, except recount, which might be a bit of a performance hit. I also have Fraps running, which is eating a few frames per second. Uh, out here in these overworlds is typically where I have some of the lowest frame rate, because there's simply so much terrain, and I have terrain distances maxed and whatnot. Uh, and I'm still getting about 20 frames a second. Well, with If Fraps was off, this would be closer to uh, 27. So here we are running around enjoying it. Uh, you'll notice there's just a tiny bit of choppiness if you look at these pillars as they go by. Uh, that's because I can't quite get the graphics, uh, the frame rate fast enough to uh, exceed human perception. This is all being done with the graphics settings on high. If I change this to ultra and start running it, you will see a dramatic drop in frame rate. We're now down to 8 to 10 with this recording. Uh, you can see the choppiness is much higher. Again, with Fraps not on, it's not as bad, but uh, honestly, I, I don't see much of an improvement on Ultra. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to good, just to demonstrate good. Alright, and now we're up to 26, and this is with Fraps running. We've started to hit the point where the jitteriness is imperceptible to human eye, and without Fraps running, it would be. Inside of uh, raids, inside of battlegrounds, uh, any sort of area that's not overworld, that's smaller, that has less people and less things going on for the game to process, uh, it will run faster. Uh, again, I realize this is just one game. I don't know how other games will compare. If you have some torture testing games that I can install, I will be happy to. Uh, I'm not going to buy any, but if they're freeware or whatever, let me know, and I'll, I'll try to put a couple up there so people have something as a comparative. I'm going to set this back and uh, go out and do what Blizzard loves us to do, and that is kill defenseless animals that really aren't hurting anybody. Um, mostly just to demonstrate the uh, the effects that are going on. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing being lost by having all this. All the little sparkles, all the particulates, all the shading. It's all still there. Everything's still happening. This is uh, pretty decent quality for the, f the fact that there's no graphics card plugged into this thing. This is all happening because of the CPU. Um, it's discrete hardware within the chip. Uh, which means that uh, this A10 is a quad core to begin with, so it's going to be very fast, but the graphics part is being processed uh, beside it. Uh, this is also using DDR3 memory, so since your video memory is actually being consumed by the system uh, RAM itself, uh, again, it's not as fast as the GDDR5 that's in your graphics processors, but it's still nothing to sneeze at. Uh, given the constraints when building this, I felt like this was all in all a pretty good trade-off. I could easily play this, um, and most of the other games I've played. Uh, I've tried emulators on here for you guys that like running emulators, doing Tazes, or just you don't feel like getting out your old console. It plays those just fine. 
uh, frankly it, it's just a really great system so there's your video demonstration I will also try to post some benchmarks um, from CPU benchmarks whatever that website is if you have any questions just let me know